Hey guys, so today Apple has officially released iOS 16.2 RC. This is the release candidate. This is the software that Apple usually releases the final steps before the official public release. And of course, in this video, we're going to go over some of the new changes within the latest RC. There's a few that I want to talk about. There's some nice changes and things that Apple has changed around before the official release. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, as always, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, the first thing I would like to talk about is additional software that Apple has released today alongside iOS 16.2 RC. Apple has also released iPadOS 16.2 RC. macOS 13.1 RC is available for the Mac. WatchOS 9.2 RC is available for the Apple Watch. And tvOS 16.2 RC is available for the Apple TV. Now, if you have an iPhone or an iPad that does not support iOS 16, there's a new RC for you as well. 15.7.2 is available RC as of today and iPad OS 15.7.2 is available for the iPad as well. So Apple continues to update older devices as well with the latest security patches and improvements as well. Now the latest RC comes in at approximately five to five and a half gigs. Keep in mind this is the final build which is overriding the entire process of the betas so you're not going to be losing any storage from your device but rather it is overriding the entire OS. As you can see right here this is pretty much the final build iOS 16.2 it's going to be 20C65. Now, let's go ahead and talk about three advancements that Apple has made to iCloud as of today, two which will be available in 2023, and one that is available as of today if you're running iOS 16.2 beta and beyond. And so let's talk about three advancements. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the iMessage contact key verification. So basically what this will do is, let's say a friend of yours constantly sends you a message from the same iPhone to your iPhone, right? But all of a sudden, a hack uses your friend's account to try to message you to eavesdrop. Well, iMessage can now detect that and tell you that that person is contacting you from an unknown device. So if someone's trying to hack into your friend's account and trying to message you from there to eavesdrop, iMessage can now detect that, which I'm super happy to see. Now, not everyone's going to be a target of these cyber attacks, but if you do get targeted, you're going to be happy that this feature is now in place. Now, the next thing I would like to talk about is security keys. Now, Apple has added an additional layer to Apple login for your Apple ID. You can now store your Apple security keys on a physical key thumb drive. And when you go to log into your Apple ID, you don't need iCloud. If you have that key on your physical thumb drive, you can go ahead and plug it into a computer and log into your Apple ID that way. You don't need the internet. You don't need iCloud. You can just log in using a physical key stored on a thumb drive, which is a good thumbs up coming from Apple. I really like this new feature. And last but not least, Apple has added additional categories. And this is the one that's available as of today for beta testers. Advanced data protection end-to-end -end encryption for additional categories of iCloud data. Now, Apple served a total of 14 categories. With this additional steps, Apple is now serving up to 23 new categories of data protection. I'll link Apple's information in the description down below, their press release or their newsroom article stating all about the new advancements to end-to-end -end encryption and new categories added to this which include messages which include also notes and photos a lot of great stuff happening here again this one is available as of today the other two will be available with software update later in 2023 now let's talk about some of the new features in ios 16.2 rc and then I want to talk about the expected release date. So the first one is karaoke is now available for Apple Music. So Apple Sing, if a song supports the lyrics, you can see right there, you can go into karaoke mode and enable this feature and you can sing along your favorite tracks. This is available for Apple TV. It's available for the iPhone, for the iPad, as you can see right there. It is really nice. I like the glyph as well. It's a really nice microphone there with these stars. I think a lot of users will take advantage of this. I was really looking forward to something like this and I'm happy that Apple has finally brought this feature to iOS with iOS 16.2. There's also some changes to AirDrop. So now under AirDrop, if you go to AirDrop something and select the category everyone, it says everyone for 10 minutes. Now this was available in China first and Apple now brought it to the US. This is to prevent others from trying to spam others, maybe in large crowds, sending information back and forth, unwanted information from people that you don't know. So you can set it and it'll go away within 10 minutes. It'll go back and revert to contact only. I'm happy with this change. 
change, but at the same time, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to prevent these types of, you know, crowd information sharing from unwanted contacts. It's a nice step that Apple has taken in the right direction, but it's something that I think will need to be polished in the future. And in regards to official release date for iOS 16.2, we can expect Apple to release this software on Monday, December the 12th. So next week, on the week of the 12th, either on the 12th or the 13th, we should see iOS 16.2. Of course, I'll have an entire breakdown review, final review for iOS 16.2 with everything that's new within the software. Thank you for watching this update, guys. Expect the software to be dropping here in less than a week. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.